Hi everyone and welcome back to my tech. So today I'm going to be reviewing and actually unboxing the tablet which I decided to buy um, as a curiosity. So this is a tech last tablet which is a 10 inch, 10 inch tablet. This is the P30T version and I actually bought it from Temu. So this was a curious case. I saw it. I saw a good deal on it and I was like, well, why not? I think the original deal was like a hundred bucks, but I got it for like a 60. So this is something which I thought like, why not to try it out and see how it goes? I would say a lower tier than the top ones like iPads, but let's see how that tech class will actually work. Okay. So the, the tablet itself, 10 inch. Oh, it's in the corner already. Look at that. Look at that. Oh my God. Like, oh, like, <laughs> that's so cool. So immediately in the cover and immediately kind of protected. Oh, well done, people. Well done. Okay, let's see how it goes. So this is the tablet. What else do we have in the box? Okay, so I was not expecting that look at this guys so we have a uh, stand mouse headphones charger and adapters that's unbelievable and the pen so we have a a proper kind of a stand for it so it's nice it's pretty thin so it's it's not bad and i can see that you can actually mount it through here or you can actually mount it like that that's cool so I assume it will be like this. Okay, so that's one. Take last mouse. Okay, so that's for USB. Ah, but it ha it's dual, so you can connect it to Bluetooth or USB, so it can be both. That's pretty nice, actually. Well done. The charging cable, but wait, is that the charging cable? So that's a charging cable for a mouse, which is separate, strangely. And this is the charging cable and the charger for the actual tablet. So we can see that's not the end because it also has the adapter. So we're having very, very, oh, okay. USB-A to USB-C. That's pretty cool. So that means you can actually connect whatever USB device you have to that. We have some headphones, which <laughs> looks i'll be honest i'll tell the honest of you it looks one-to-one -one as the um apple uh, headphones obviously they're not apple headphones but they're like a one-to-one -one apple look look alike it's exactly the same look at this that's what kind of previously apple was um giving to their phones that's pretty nice and the last thing is the um it's the pen for it so Oh, like a, look at that, it's kind of like a special thingy. Honestly, for the amount I paid for it, having all those accessories, OMG, that's very cool. But wait, is there anything? Wait, there's something more here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let me actually just check if there's anything underneath the box. Nope, that's empty here. But there is something else here. And it's pretty heavy as well, so... Uh, I assume that this will be some kind of instruction for it, um, so maybe manual or something like that. Let's move this thing here. Oh, OMG! Okay, that's like, that way too much. So this is a keyboard. So that's actually a wireless keyboard, guys. So we have a full set of a mouse, keyboard, headphones, everything with a tablet. That's pretty unbelievable for the price they paid for it. So like I, I had no expectations and a webcam cover as well. So, oh my God, this is, honestly, it's kind of like a opposite of Apple. You're buying something from Apple and you know you have to buy all the accessories separate. Here you're buying a tablet and you have all the accessories 
inside. That's wow. Well done, Teclas. Teclas. It built such a cool um, experience for you know someone who is actually buying this. It's pretty amazing. All right. So let's turn on this bad boy. So I have the SD slot card here and um, obviously the USB-C charging, which is decent. Okay, where to turn it on? Here. Will it be charged? That's the only thing which I kind of wonder. That looks decent. Let's see how it will actually look when it turns itself on. So, it's running Android, but I can see that it's having some tech last thing. So, the display itself, it's nice. It's not, you know, it's not a retina, obviously, but for the price, yeah, I'm, I'm not surprised. So, vision settings, yeah, I don't need anything. Let me just quickly set it up. Ask me to connect to the Wi-Fi. When it comes to heaviness, it's okay. I wouldn't say it's the lightest of the tablets, which are 10 inch, but it's actually pretty decent kind of um, weight. So like you can you can hold it and you can feel it slightly heavier than for example an iPad, but yeah, it's still decent. So let's just see how it goes. So it's actually getting ready and setting up. So let's just wait a few minutes. So now we have the uh, Android kind of a system. Honestly, it actually works pretty decent. I think, you know, like for um, a thing, for a tablet for such a price, it's pretty cool. Let's try some YouTube maybe, and let's see if we can actually just turn on some, maybe some uh, music on it or some video, and let's see how it actually looks. So, I don't know, let's put on the trailer of a video, or maybe just some music, maybe like Ibiza Summer Mix, right? Um, let's see. Wow, well, then we have some... Uh, okay, so it actually works, but we have some advertising first, so let me just... Okay, what is that? That's some weird skip, okay. Okay, let me put something which I can actually set the quality. Advanced... Actually, I can set the 1080p. But it's live. Wait, one moment. Sorry, guys. Because I have, like, people are live streaming, like, all the time on those kind of platforms. Okay, here it is something. The music is decent. The image is also okay, I would say. It's not it's not bad. Like, honestly, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool that something like that, you know, exists, especially for the price. Like, it's, it's a hundred bucks. So, yeah. What can we do? What else can we do on this uh, tablet? So, let's see. Some basics already done. YouTube, uh, Maps, Google. Like, it works, like, nice, that I can feel that it's working pretty, pretty fast, like, on the touch, and, like, it's, it's pretty cool, like, I'll be honest with you, it's actually surprisingly well done, the only thing which, obviously, we'll have to test, now test with time, is how long the battery lasts, so, kind of, that, that will be the next uh, test, and um, when it comes to the camera, can we actually have some meetings here, so, if I turn on some cameras, um, yeah, start the capture. Okay, so look at that. So it's okay. It's actually, it's actually not bad. It's actually pretty okay. I'd say you know, looking alright. So let's see the. Mm, the selfie kind of modes because obviously on the selfie camera you might have a meeting with some people and it's decent as well so kind of 
yeah, I'm very, very surprised about this quality. So guys, this is it for me. Um, I think it, you know, if you're looking for a budget lab, for a budget tablet, and um, obviously you want to, you know, do some basics. I think it's pretty cool. Like I think honestly, it's definitely worth the uh, the money. Um, like I was kind of I bought it as a you know just check it out. Let's see how the auto rotate works. It does work. Okay, so everything does work. It does. Yeah. All right. So for me, I think it's a pretty cool thing, especially looking at how many accessories are also added to it, so I don't have to buy it separately. I think it's a definitely good deal for that money. By the way, this is not a sponsored video. It's just me reviewing some cool and budget tech on the market. This is it from me. Hope you enjoyed the video. If yes, you know what to do, just hit the like and subscribe. And see you in the next one. Take care.